This video will showcase a localization workflow in phrase strings from a design team's perspective. As a designer and working in Figma, I can make use of the phrase strings plugin to push translatable content from this Figma design along with the relevant screenshots into my phrase strings project. To do this, this is very simple. You'd select all the relevant designs in your, in your Figma page, which you want to push into phrase strings. Um, what you'll notice on the left hand side here is that I've deliberately labeled my text layers as uh, key names, which will eventually come from development. This is because phrase strings works on a unique key, key, key name basis. And so once we activate the plugin, you'll be able to see that the, the plugin generates not only the content, which we require translation, but also the names of the text layers, which will be um, <clears throat> imported as key names into phrase strings. Now to push this content and the screenshots into my phrase strings project, I just click on continue, select the relevant project. In this case, it's Figma design led workflow. And here you can see that I have the option to upload screenshots um, into my phrase strings project. So we'll just continue with this action right now. And once that's done, you can see that you, uh, we have 15 keys which have been created in that particular uh, Phrase Strings project, along with the three screenshots coming from this Figma design. Let's now navigate to Phrase Strings, where you can see, if I click on Refresh, that we've got keys which have now been ingested into this project. And if we navigate now into, say, German, we'll be able to see right that we've got our keys on the left-hand side, the, the source content in English, and because I've enforced a pre-translation rule here, we've already got the German translations for um, the keys that we've ingested into this project. Now on the right hand side, you can see that screenshots have been pushed into the translation editor, which means that linguists do not need to refer to files outside of phrase strings to get sufficient visual context with the content that they're localizing. Um, they have everything available to them directly in the phrase strings editor. The same process has been completed for French, and so if I select French here, you can see now that we've got the full key list and the content and the translations across all languages. Now, as a designer, I want to validate um, how, how the translations look in, in my Figma design. And to do this, then I can just run the plugin again. And this time, instead of pushing the content, I want to pull the translations to my Figma design. I select the relevant language. I'll do this sequentially. So we'll do it for German first. And now we have the option to create a new page with the translated content. And now you can see within a matter of seconds, we've now got the German translations in my, in my Figma project. And I can proceed to make any layout adjustments that might be required. Now the final piece I wanted to showcase with this short video is that you can actually connect a GitHub repository to this particular project. You can do this in your project settings. And you can see here that I've connected to a particular GitHub repository, which is here. In my GitHub repository, I have this configuration file in which I've defined some push and pull syntax and referenced the project API key in order to facilitate the connection with this particular phrase strings project. Now, when I want to, as a developer, when I want to pull the translations into my GitHub repository, I can just go to languages, uh, click on GitHub sync and export to GitHub as a pull request. And if we navigate now back to our uh, GitHub repository, we can see that a pull request has been created with this commit message from phrase strings. We can now merge this pull request And we have our localized content in a simple JSON format with all the keys that have been translated in the phrase strings environment.